Series 6A battle on Thursday night between Haltom and Weatherford. Kangaroos running back sensation Des Forrest receiving his week one Bill Ford Tough Player of the Week honor. And he showed you that Bill Ford Tough toughness getting into the end zone. The Roos were up 21 to 7. But the Buffaloes were not to be denied. Running back sensation Kenneth Cormier Jr., a one man wrecking crew, scoring four touchdowns, 199 yards on the ground. It was a seven point game. The ensuing possession, Vanderbilt commit. Ken Seals, he was dealing 369 yards through the air. And check out Nicholas Schweichel. Look at that stiff arm. 63 yards down the sideline. Seals finished with five touchdown tosses. Touchdown. Waiting seconds of the second quarter. More from Forrest. He's so good. He'll take the handoff. Shows you why he's one of the top backs in the Lone Star State. Cutting back. 278 yards on the ground, four scores, would also add a touchdown catch. Weatherford goes on to win it, 66 to 52. And what do you know? The kangaroos have invaded us in the studios. Head coach Billy Mathis, great to have you here. In a rare moment where we've actually stopped Des Forrest for an interview. <laughs> Superstar quarterback Ken Seals there on the end. Well, Coach, talk about this win. You know, Haltom kind of had your number the last couple of years since you've taken this job. How'd you get it done, and how big was this for your guys? Well, we got it done just by you know, pure grit. You know, the guys worked hard all week. We were on a short week. I'm um, coming off from San Angelo last week. The Haltman had a had a bye, so, you know, we knew we had to go out there, and, and we had to turn it around quickly, you know. Losing that game to San Angelo, that, that nail biter there at the end, you know, we had a lot of um, built up tension, ready to get that bad taste out of our mouth. So, you know, went out, had a great week of practice, and came in, and man, I, the boys stepped up. We asked them to go out, play hard, play fast, and finish strong, and they did just that. You know, Des, I look at you, nearly 400 yards for you in this game and five touchdowns. You're one of those guys that every time you take the field, you're probably the best guy, on, best player on the field, and people put a huge target on your back. How are you able to kind of weather through that and still put up these big games? Uh, it's just my O-line, the receivers, and great coaching, great play calling. Uh, that's all it is, you know, just practicing hard every day of the week and coming out and just executing on all cylinders Friday nights. You seem like one of those guys that just has tremendous vision. Do you pride yourself on that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Um, but like I said, it's my whole line. You know, they, they open up big holes, you know, big cutbacks and stuff like that for me to see. And so, it was you know, Ken, I, I'm sure from your seat, it's pretty fun to watch him play out there. But from your standpoint, there was nearly 700 yards of total offense. Do you feel like this offense can score with anybody? Oh, absolutely. You know, I got the best seat in the house watching Des run. You know, I get to see all the lanes. And there's sometimes, you know, I'll be watching it, and I really don't understand. Like, I don't know where he's going to go. Like, all right, figure it out. And then he just takes off and he starts running. But I feel like the weapons we have on offense with him and me in the backfield, our receivers, the offensive line that we have, I really don't think if we're on our game, we're in the zone, and we're, you know, running and doing what we know how to do, I really don't think there's a defense to keep up this. With all those weapons, it almost seems like it opens things up for you in the passing game. Oh, oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, that was that was kind of the problem we had last year, I feel like, is we didn't really have too much to complement, you know, our offense. And so this year, I mean, it's a completely different dynamic. You know, we're going to throw it over the top, and whenever you start backing those guys off to go cover our receivers, Des is going to run right up the middle. I mean, there's really, I mean, as a defense, there really isn't much you can do against an offense that, you know, the type of offense we have. I mean, it is very effective for what we're trying to do. Billy, you've been able to change the narrative in uh, three short years, coming over from Alito, where you were a defensive coordinator and got three state championship rings. What did you take from those days with Coach Wood and, and Coach Buck and, and taking it to this program and building it into a winner right away? You know, having mentors like those two guys, you know, I, I couldn't ask any more. You know, I had the opportunity to, you know, I graduated from Alito and played for Coach Buchanan. And, you know, just having those two guys, you know, the main thing that they talk about that that I took from them is consistency you know we've got to stay consistent as a coaching staff we got to expect and would demand perfection from the kids every day we coach them hard you know from the moment you know football season starts all the way through summer so those are the things and one thing that I have learned that I've really taken to heart and I've tried to give these guys every day is no matter what happens if we can go out and be the toughest Toughest guys on the field. We got a chance to win every single game. Ken, looking ahead, you guys have a bye week. Then you got mighty Euless Trinity. You're in that crazy district where you travel all over the place. You got to get in a bus for like 300 miles yeah. to go see St. Angelo Central. How do you navigate through this, and how tough will Trinity be? I mean, they're a good football team. They've had great teams in the past, you know. But we played them last year. 
Uh, but I feel like, you know, last year's team and this year's team is completely different, you know. The team that we have this year, I feel like it's almost like this is our year. You know, all the work that we've been putting in, you know, since we first started, you know, whenever we were playing on JV together. I mean, everything's been building up, I feel like, to this season. And we, I mean, everyone has the mindset that we are not going to be denied what we've earned. You know, everyone has a great attitude at practice. They're coming out in the games. We're executing. And so, I mean, I, Train's got a great team. It's going to be a great game, but I'm excited to face him. We'll look forward to seeing that. Now, I noticed the PA announcer had a little fun with your name. They were calling you Des Bryant <laughs> throughout the game. Now, you dominate like Des did back at Lufkin High School. How much have you enjoyed the attention? Let me go ahead and tell you how much he enjoyed the attention. He loves the attention. He absolutely loves the attention. He does. He deserves all the attention because he's earned every bit of it. Uh, I, I really, I really do enjoy it, especially from like coming from the little kids in the community. Um, you know, they they make me who I am on and off the field. Uh, they make me want to work harder just for them. You know, not to let them down on Friday nights. And the fans, my family. Uh, it's, it's crazy. Uh, the, the love is it's ridiculous. I, I love it. Well, we enjoy seeing you guys play and continued success. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. Thank you. Thank you.